Hello, in today's tutorial, we will learn how to create this presentation using PowerPoint. To get started, let's change the background, I'll select picture or texture fill and insert, if you want to use the same images as me, you can check the link in the description. Next, we'll add a title. I'm going to use the Cormorant Garamon font with a font size of 95, and I'll change the text color to white. Since our presentation is all about solar systems, I'll type solar system here. For the spacing, let's choose a very loose option. After that, I'll center the text and expand the text frame to create one line. Next, I'll adjust its position and align it to the center. Now, let's create a horizontal line like this. Change the color to white. Select the format pane and adjust the line width to two points. Remember to align it in the center. Moving on, we'll add a subtitle. I'll use the Barlow regular font, change the color to white, and I'll set the spacing to 2. I'll also center the subtitle and align its center. I think the line should be a bit shorter, so let's adjust its length and center it. For the subtitle, I'll expand it a bit. Now, let's animate them. For the line, I'll select the split animation. Change the direction to vertical out. For the title, I'll use the peak in animation. The subtitles will also use the peak in animation, but with a different direction. Let's select all these animations. If you can't see the animation pane, you can access it by clicking here. The animations will start with previous. I'll set the duration for the line to 0.5 seconds and for the text elements to 1 second. Hold command and return to start the slideshow. The movement looks good to me, but you can see here, the title is covering other objects, we need to create something to cover it. To do it, I'll add the same image as the background and scale it up to fit the background. Then, I'll use the crop feature. Click on the black rectangle here to crop the image. Adjust it by dragging it down like this. Then right-click, choose Send to Back, and Send Backward. One more time. Now, let's check the title. It looks good to me. Let's move on to the new slide. First, we'll clear any existing frames on this slide. Now, I'll change the background color to a solid black. To create the orbit lines, we'll start by adding circle shapes. Select No Fill. Change the outline color to white and set the weight to a quarter. Access the format pane and adjust the transparency to 50%. Next, I'll duplicate this circle seven times. Select all of them and align them properly. Now, let's scale up each circle to create the orbit lines. Hold down Shift and Control while dragging to keep the circle centered. Once that's done, select all the orbit lines and create a group. Let's zoom out the slide and scale up this group. Move it to the left. Make it bigger. Moving on, we'll insert a 3D model. And let's find the sun inserted onto the slide. Move it to the left and scale it up. Copy the sun, paste it on slide 1, move it to the left, rotate it slightly to the left, and scale it down. This will make the transition effect better. In the next step, we'll add the planets to slide 2. You can search for 3D models of these planets and insert them. But they will cause your PowerPoint to load heavily. You can use the PNG files instead. It's easy to convert 3D models to PNG image, just insert the 3D model. Select it, right-click and save as picture. Make sure the type is PNG. I converted all 3D planets to PNG images. You can download them from the link in the description. Alright, let's start with Mercury. I'll scale it down, place it on the first orbit. I'll zoom in a little bit. I think Mercury should be a little smaller. Next. Let's add a title to this planet. I'll use the Barlow regular font. 
set the spacing to 1, and change the color to white. I'll center the text, align the planet with the title. Let's add other planets. Now, let's add an image for the background, scale it up. Align it. And send it back. We have completed slide 2, let's create a new slide. I will copy the background image in slide 2, and paste it here. Scale it up. Next, I will add the text. Firstly, I will create a blur frame. I will duplicate the background and align it. Then, I will select the crop feature and choose the rounded rectangle. Click crop again, you can see the black rectangle appear. Now let's resize this frame. Remember to hold the control keyboard while dragging to maintain symmetry. You can turn on grid lines for easy review. Move the frame to the right. Access the format pane and select solid line. Let's turn off the grid lines. Click in the frame, select picture format, and choose artistic effect. Pick the blur effect. Select artistic effect again, click on artistic effects options, increase the radius to 70. If the frame corner is too rounded, you can reduce it by clicking this yellow square and dragging it. Now, let's add some text. For the title, I will use Cormorant Garamond, set the font size to 60, and change the color to white. For the body text, I will use the Barlow font, and set the color to white. I will set the spacing to 1. For the line spacing, I will set up like this. Next, we will create navigation. I'll use the Barlow regular font, change the font size to 20, and change color to white. Click Insert, choose Icon, and search for an arrow. I will select this icon, go to Graphics Format, change the color to white, and scale it down. Align the text to the right, select both objects, and create a group. Then, drag it here. Now, I will copy the sun from slide 2 and paste it on slide 3. Rotate it, scale it up slightly, and move it to the right. OK, now I will duplicate slide 3. For the sun, I will rotate it back, scale it down, and move it to the left, outside the frame. Next, I will select all of these elements, and move them to the left. Turn on the grid lines for easy review. I will adjust their position. Let's change the title to Mercury and update the body text. Turn off the guidelines. Now, I will duplicate this navigation. Move the arrow to the left of the text. Align the text to the left and rotate the arrow 180 degrees. Change the text to Sun and change this text to Venus. Next, I will drag this navigation here. Remember to adjust this cropped image. Select Picture Format and click Crop Feature. Hold Shift and drag the image to the right until it matches with the background. Next, I will insert the planet. Select 3D model and search for the first planet, which is Mercury. Let's open the grid lines again. Drag the planet to the right, scale it up, and rotate it to the right. I will copy and paste it on slide 3, then scale it down, drag it below, outside of the slide, and rotate it to the left. Returning to slide 4, I will search for Venus and insert it. Scale it down, drag it down out of the frame. Now, I will duplicate slide 4. 
scale down the mercury, move it up, and rotate it to the left. Then I will drag Venus here, scale it up, rotate it to the right. Next, I will find Earth and insert it. Scale it down, move it down, rotate it. I will also change the content, including the title, body text, and navigation. Let's duplicate this slide, delete Mercury, scale down Venus, move it up. I will drag the Earth here, scale it up. Rotate it to the right. Remember to rotate Venus. Next, I will add Mars. Scale it down. And move it down. Rotate it to the left. Let's change the content accordingly. We do the same way for other planets. After adding all the planets, you will have a presentation like this. Let's select all of them and apply the morph transition. Alright, let's check how it looks. It seems there's an issue because I used the same frame for these two slides. To fix it, on slide 3, I'll group all these elements together. Let's play the slideshow again. It works properly. I want the planet to keep spinning until we move to the next slide. To achieve this, select the Animation tab, click on the planet, choose the Turntable effect here, the animation should start with the previous, the duration will be set to 25 seconds. Click on the Animation pane, you can set the effect options like this. For the timing, let's select Repeat until end of slide. I will copy this animation style for the other planets. You can do that by clicking on this Animation Painter feature. Now. Go to the next slide and click on the Venus. We will do the same way for the other planets. Let's review the presentation. That's all for today's tutorial. If you like it, please give me a like and consider subscribing to my channel. I will create more content like this. Thank you for watching.